Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you would like to help grow this channel, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links are in the description box below. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in six. The topic of this tutorial is combined bending and twisting of shafts. The question is included in the video. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I'm going to show you, as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks, even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch only the first five minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in strength of materials. It takes persistence, discipline and repetition. You have to use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. Our question states, a shaft 4 meters long transmits 70 kilowatts at 160 RPM and the maximum torque is 20% more than the mean torque. The maximum shear stress and the shaft must not exceed 60 megapascals and the modulus of rigidity is 80 gigapascals. Now we have to calculate the maximum torque transmitted and the diameter of the shaft. Okay, now let's get our information. The length is equal to 4 meters. The power is 70 times 10 to the 3 the rotations is 160 torque max is 20% more than T mean and also the shear stress Shear stress is 60 times 10 to the 6 and G is 80 times 10 to the 9. Okay, so first things first is they want the maximum torque transmitted. So we have power is 2 pi m t mean over 60. That's 60. This is in revs a minute and that will be divided by 60 to make it revs a second. Alright, so we have 17 times 10 to the 3 times 60 divided by 2 pi times 160 equals T mean. Now, to get T mean, T mean is equal to, this equals 4,178 kilonewton meters. That's T mean. Now what we do is since that is 20%, we times, we take this, 4,178 times 1,2,0. And that gives us 5,014 kilonewton meters. And that is our maximum torque. So our mean, T mean, is 4,178 kilonewton meters T max 
is 5,014 kilonewton meters. Now, what they want you to do is to find the diameter of the shaft. This is a solid shaft, so our formula will be T over J equals K. Now, this is T max, so this will equal, this will equal J over R. That is our right formula. So, now what we have here, there's not everything, now this is 5014 equals 60 times 10 to the 6 times pi d4 times 2 all over d times 32. So now, what we can do is eliminate that D, exits with that, and we get 3. Now we can make D the subject of the formula. So, we have 5014 times 32 divided by 60 times 10 to the 6 times pi times 2 equals d cubed. Now all we have to do is cube root, cube root, and we are left with d. So d equals 7 five comma two two millimeters and that is our final answer if you found this tutorial helpful please give it a like and subscribe it helps to grow the channel positive feedback is most welcome if you would like more videos like this please consider supporting me on paypal patreon or buy me a coffee links in the description box below be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember passing well is achievable. Have a great day, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.